In this video presentation, we're going to be taking a look at how we go about copying our current Cisco IOS or our Flash from our router over to a TFTP server located somewhere on our network. Now before we get started, let's take a look at how I'm set up so that I can make all this happen. First things first, I've got to have a TFTP server that is per currently installed and configured on a host somewhere on my network. This version of the TFTP server that you're seeing here is a free download from the Cisco site. Currently, it has a network ID of 192.168.0.101 that's currently bound to the Ethernet adapter onto this machine that is hosting it. That's great. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and ping from my router over to this TFTP server to see if I got connectivity. So let's do a ping 192.168.0.101. It comes back and it gives me a success rate of 100%. I got connectivity from my router to my TFTP server. Now let's verify that I have connectivity from my TFTP server over to my router. My Ethernet interface on the router is currently configured with 192.168.0.5 and it's on the same subnet mask as my TFTP server. Alright, very good. If I hit enter, it too comes back with a success rate of 100%. Now I've just about got everything done except the copy procedure. So what I'm going to do here now is go back to my router that I'm currently consoled into and I'm going to do a show flash command. And the reason I did this is because I want to look at the name of my current iOS or my flash and I see that it's triple A zero eight five zero dot bin. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And now I'm going to start the actual procedure of copying over my flash over to my TFTP server. Make sure that the TFTP server is up and opened. All right. And I'm just going to type in copy. And if you'd like to know what you can do with the copy command, just use the context sensitive help. Just so happens that we're going to be using the flash uh, part of this syntax. So I'm going to type in copy flash space TFTP. Now once I hit enter, if everything's working okay, it's going to ask me for the source file name. Now, remember we did a copy, now I'm going to do a paste. That makes it a little easier, right? The IP address of my remote host that has the TFTP server on it. Now it wants the destination file name, it gives me a default of the current name of the, my Cisco Flash or my iOS. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Then if you see these exclamation marks start flying across the bottom of the screen, that means it's working. You can also open up your TFTP server and you can see it doing this pretty much the same thing. Now, when you see all this happening, you've got a pretty good success rate going so far. And when it's all done, it's just going to say OK and it's all done and that you've actually done a very good copy of your Cisco IOS over to your TFTP server.